So when you have a discussion about American goalkeepers, who better to discuss it than Casey Keller, the former US international, now US-Paraguay on Tuesday. And the three players that have been called up, very inexperienced. What do you make of the US goalkeeping situation right now and someone who could maybe come <laughs> through the pack to establish himself as a number one choice goalkeeper? Well, I think it's interesting because I think if you're looking at it, you got to look at it kind of in a bigger picture more than just the goalkeeping. You're looking at a, at a point where, yes, the, the failures of the team to qualify and then an uproar that we need to kind of look at all this young talent coming through. So you have you know, pretty much any experienced player isn't called in uh, to begin with. Uh, you're looking at a coach that is, that, for all practicality... Setting duck. Oh, yes, correct. Yeah. He will not be there. Uh, and so you've got a group of guys that are really kind of fighting for something that doesn't really exist. But I suppose any time you get a chance to play for your national team, you want to perform well. Mm. You want somebody to see you... Uh, do well for your country and, and then the, the new coach is going to come in he's going to look at, at at past games at past matches to kind of see if there's something there but for the most part he's going to make his own mind up let's have a look at the guys in, yeah. in contention now we're going to have a look at five they're all sure. inexperienced Bill Hamid started against Bosnia was replaced right. at halftime by Zach Steffen out of those five a couple of them aren't even playing sure. for the club because they've moved who do you think has the best chance of maybe establishing himself as the number one choice? Well, I think that's the hard part. So Bill Hamid's left DC United. He's gone to Mitchell, and he hasn't he hasn't broken in as the number one yet. So he's still waiting for his chance. You know, I really thought it was going to be Ethan Horvath when when he left Molda and went to Club Bruges. I thought, okay, there's an opportunity to go and. And, and now he's been replaced. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's really, you know, and Zach Steffen as well was in, had an excellent under-20 World Cup. He was at, at Freiburg, was unable to break into Freiburg, and was, you know, and came back to Columbus Crew. So it really is kind of one of those wide-open fields where somebody just needs to be playing, playing consistently, playing at the highest level possible, and, and prove that they're the best goalkeeper. Now Horvath had a chance, you know, uh, I think a couple months ago, and then you know gave up a poor goal in that. So it is, it's, it's amazing that nobody's been able to really step forward and say, I'm the U.S. number one. If I if I'm looking at that at that list right now, mm -hmm. all things being equal, Brad Guzan starts in the next game. That means something. Just finally, you were 20 years old when you made your debut for the U.S. against. Colombia. Now, you went on to, to go abroad, played for a number of clubs. If someone came to you, one of these kids who's still in the U.S., maybe a young goalkeeper, and said, look, should I stay where I am in the U.S., where I might get noticed better, or should I maybe go to Europe, like a couple of the guys have done, with no guarantee that you're going to get a game at first? What would you suggest? Well, you always have to gamble on yourself at some stage, and you have to make that decision. There's no, I can't make a decision for you. If I say to you, oh, you need to go to Europe, but your mind is saying, I want to stay here. I want to be here, then you have to stay yeah. here. There's no way around it. What I will do, and I've done it with several players before, I've given them what to expect in both scenarios, and they have to make the decision themselves. And, and there's no question that any manager in the world, any national team manager in the world, wants their players playing at the very highest level possible. They don't want their players sitting at the very highest level possible. So that's that balancing act between getting games and also going to say to yourself and proving to yourself that I can go play. Now, I have no problem. Bill Hume just got to Midland. Yeah. It, it'll take some time to break, and we've all been in those. And you don't become a bad goalkeeper overnight. And you don't. No, not at all. And, you know, Horvath is a little worrying because he was brought by Bruce, and yes. now they've brought somebody else in yep. to replace him. But he's still young. We've all been in situations where it didn't work out one place you have to maybe move again to go reprove yourself so the frustrating well I guess the good part now is that they're still a couple of years away from anything that matters for the US national team yeah. so you've got a group of goalkeepers fighting it out trying to find the best situation for them uh, it's not as if they have a game tomorrow which would be more worrying two things one there's no clear-cut number one the second thing is what an opportunity for these guys to become the clear-cut number one with the U.S. So when you have a discussion about American goalkeepers, who better to yeah. discuss it than Casey Keller, the former U.S. international, now U.S.-Paraguay on Tuesday. And the three players that have been called up, 